Hi guys, good morning, welcome. It's Thursday today and I feel a bit crap. Pip, it's okay. Pip's quick. It's okay, Pip's come and say hello. Come and say hello to everyone. What's this? Woohoo. Hello, Pip. It's Thursday, yeah. And, um, yeah, no, we're there. Throat's a bit sore this morning, so I'm not going to talk much at the moment. I'm just I'm on, I'm on my third drink of the day uh, to see how I feel. But um, I can't know why I keep walking over there, and it's looking over there. Are you? I'm just walking up. A bit medication is kicking in this morning, a bit better. Um, yeah, so I've got some things to show you later on when I uh, decide to actually get changed and showered, and we'll see what today brings. And I'm going to take the dog out for a walk in a bit, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, what I've got to tell you, which I mentioned in the comments on my first video I put up, that I'm going to talk about, mention about my eye. Now if you, you can see carefully, uh, one of my pupils is bigger than the other, and it doesn't react to light that fast. Well, it kind of reacts, but it doesn't. Um, that started when I got diagnosed with this, this problem in my neck with a bulging disc, I've got to give some painkillers, and the painkillers sent me a bit crazy, I would say. I started doing loads of crap stuff around the house, and you know, I was going to be just manic. Um, and once I went to physio one week and they said, oh, did you realise when your eyes is slightly more dilated than the other one? No. So all the saga, blah, blah, blah. I went to, to eye clinic, hospital and all the other palaver, blah, blah, blah. Then I didn't get referred to neurology, uh, which took probably nearly a year to get through. And then they've just diagnosed it as Holmes AIDS syndrome. Now, I've not really read much about it. I still don't really know much about it, but I know it's my eyes, I, the bright light don't really go up and down. If you look, there we go. Right, well, back to the rest of the day. Hi everyone, I'm back again. I've had my breakfast, blah, blah, blah. I've come down to my set a little studio up in the corner of my lounge just to talk to you for a minute or two. Right, I've got my Yule today, I've tried calling my, now, Going back to reviewing Yule from yesterday, yesterday I had a spray carbonara. Now when my friend came around afterwards, he said the house actually stunk and like, like that smell all. It smells fine to me. I, I could smell something, but it just smelled a bit fake bacon in, which I think it has got some vegan bacon in that one. And it did stink the house out a little bit. But today I've gone for Korma. It's quite nice. Well actually no, it's really nice actually. It's better than the other like yesterday's. Maybe yesterday I didn't get a chance to cook properly or something like that, but this is how it looks. Now I don't know if you meant to, I don't know meant to drink these or are you meant to eat them with a spoon. I'm a popular sort of guy so I tend to eat them with a spoon anyway. So it's quite nice, it's lovely actually. Hmm. Right, so that's day two now on Huel. The shake. Which is like chocolate and salted chocolate caramel flavour. I had that yesterday. That was quite nice as well. Although it did taste a bit wheaty and it's probably adjustments that I need to make to either less water or more water in it, but we'll see how it goes. I mentioned yesterday as well that I got a delivery. And I got a delivery of some clothes from a company called Here Clothing. Here, I think. H-E-R-A. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm crap at pronunciations, but anyway. Here it goes. I got a t-shirt. I got a hoodie. And I've got some jeans, so let's see what they're like. Right, again, no one's paying me for this. This is me doing it off my own back, just wanting new clothes. As I've been ill for, Ill for the past five weeks after an operation, and in recovery, well, not ill, but in recovery from an operation on my neck, I just wanted something to cheer myself up, so I thought I'll buy some new, new clothes. Now, you do see these all the time on Facebook, pop it up, or it's on my Facebook, but then again, it's one of the things to say, they say to you, oh, Facebook, it's not listening to you, but you've mentioned something in a room. And the next minute you know, there's adverts popping up for that product. But anyway, we have to go around my nation. Right. Ooh. Quite nice packaging. I'm assuming it's uh, recyclable, but that's right, so that one. Two. Oh, so we've got a hoodie, t shirt. What else did I buy? Got to tell them the other half. T-shirt, sweatshirt, oh sweatshirt and hoodie, I'm sorry. Right, oh, nice packaging, a little zip. Oh, okay. All right, this is going to be jumper or hoodie, I think it's hoodie. That's quite a thin one. Right, here we go. 
that's the hoodie. It's not a fleecy hoodie though. I mean, I didn't really read the description, I just bought it for like the look of it. So uh, it'd be quite nice for summer. I shall like. I'll try it in a minute and see what it's like. Next. It's black again. So it's jeans. Denim. I haven't funny, I'm a funny size of jeans, so we'll see. Just normal. 32R, believe it or not, because I'm quite skinny. Quite skinny below my belly, where the, my jeans sort of hang. So we'll see. They're like nice plain black jeans. And then what else have I got? Quite a good orangey what can on, but anyway. I've got a t-shirt. Now again, t-shirts weird sizing for me. I'm quite broad shouldered, but short and stubby. So some t-shirts make it look right skinny, some make it look right chubby. That's quite a big t-shirt. It looks quite a low down, so we'll see what it looks like. That's quite a nice colour wear, grey. Not very colourful me today, I mean, what I thought. My neck, I'm still trying to keep things away from the scarf, I don't know why. Feel it over. And then, a nice just normal black jumper. Very similar to the hoodie, same material, feels nice. So, I'll fit them, I'll put them on in a minute and let you know how they feel on them. They fit good, the fit is good. I bought the usual size, it's all medium, 32 regular, so we'll see how it is. So, I'll speak to him. Five. Right, have a look. This is the hoodie. It's that's quite a nice fitting actually. I think after a quick wash, that feels quite nice. It does feel quite nice on. However, the t-shirt is a different story. Now, the t-shirt I also was medium. It medium. Grey mouth, oh it's oversized. Ow. Oh. I still that back and I didn't see the oversized bit, but yeah, it's a bit big. But the jeans. Kind of nice. They're nice, they're sort of a bit elasticated in them. They feel good for a wash as well. Yeah. So that's what I think about here. Here are here. That you pronounce it. Um so yeah, I might send the t-shirt back. I might just keep it just for a Bedtime t-shirt because it's quite a and it's quite expensive for a bedtime t-shirt, but the neckline is quite nice and like, loose. Like, I like to wear a t-shirt in bed because I like to keep my neck warm because I keep getting cold and it, it hurts. So yeah, right. Well, that's about that for this. That's just a, don't forget I'm not getting paid for that. I bought these my own. It's not a commercial presentation. Um, also, just so I've got you, don't forget to hit subscribe, press the bell for the notification when I upload a video, and leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. So if you do that, I'd be amazing. I know it's warm, be careful. Right, I've never finished my heel. It's quite nice, actually. I'm, it's nice. It feels a bit dry after a bit. I'm feeling a bit dry. So I have actually got a cup of old British Yorkshire tea. Good old Yorkshire tea. That's a question I want to ask you, Archer. How dark, how brewed do you like your tea? I mean, I don't you see mine. Mine's not that. It's sort of pale. Now, now from Yorkshire, you'd probably get slayed for that. I like a milky tea, milk, two sugars and milk, and that's how I like it. I don't know why, but I've, I've seen stuff like stop smoking. I've stopped doing coffee as much. I, used to, I drink two coffees in the morning now, and that's it for coffee. The rest of the day, a nice cup of sweet tea I gets me through, as well as my Yule and my shake. And then I might have a light meal at night time, so that's, that's what I'm doing now. Right, next time I see you, it might be on a short walk with the dog, which I'm going to take her out with probably half an hour or something, so I'll take you with me for that. Very quick short walk. And then back home, edit this, get it uploaded, and ready for publishing tomorrow. So this will be out, it's Thursday today, this will be out tomorrow, which is Friday. And then it's the weekend, woohoo! See you soon, bye bye. <laughs>
Pas grand, ouais. Well, welcome back to my vlog. Um, well, I didn't really, <laughs> didn't really make it out that early as a plan with dog. Uh, I'm just now walking with her. Um, it's about six o'clock at night now. Did plan to go earlier today than normal. Normally I go that time anyway, but I thought, well, you know, but then it started to rain, which is typical in this weather in this country. Right, well, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, tomorrow it might be a slightly shorter vlog. Which will spot me tomorrow up as it'll be getting on. This will go out tomorrow, it's Friday, so it's Thursday now. I've got on Saturday, which is which will be Friday, if that makes sense. Alright, see you all later. Peace and take care. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, press the bell notification, and comment whatever you want. Love you all. Bye.